Hey everyone, Adam with Droid Media here, and today we're making our own DIY scrim gyms. Scrim gyms, overheads, butterflies, 4x4s, whatever you want to call these things, you have definitely seen them around, whether in behind the scenes photos or on actual film or video production sets. And for good reason, they have a ton of uses. Now I've got one right off camera here, and what it's done is it's created this huge four foot by four foot soft light source. And you can see that I am getting some shadows when I put something in front of it, but they're so soft that it's just very pleasing. It's a really pleasing look on me. Um, you probably still can see some wrinkles, but it's a really nice big light source. And for your talent, that's gonna go a long way in making them look the best they can on screen. The other thing that these are really good at is evening out the light on a really bright sunny day or just outside where there's some uneven light maybe coming through the trees. What this does is it evens out all of that light coming through and it lets you shoot outside without any of those harsh shadows from the sun or from objects outside like trees on your talent. Now these things are really handy, they're really versatile, and um, with the price that we're gonna make them at today, they are certainly worth having a couple in your kit. Now Westcott and Matthews and other brands make these things and sell them for like 150 or 250 bucks, but we're gonna be making this whole thing, fabric, frame, and everything, for less than $80. Materials you'll need for this project are four one half inch conduit elbows or corners, two of these 5 8 inch spigots or stud adapters. Now these have a 3 8 inch threaded hole and a 1 quarter by 20 threaded hole. We just want to use the quarter by 20. A couple quarter by 20 screws or bolts, some thumb screws, a marker, a screwdriver, a tape measure, a hacksaw, and of course our four 5 foot by 1 half inch pieces of EMT conduit. Other materials you're going to want to have are a pack of grommets, a handful of cable ties, fabric, and then some two inch wide heavy duty nylon webbing. And I'll link all of this stuff in the description below. Now the first thing we want to do is cut our pipe down to size. So measure four feet and then just use a hacksaw and cut each of these pieces down individually. Then get your elbows and we want to install two of these onto two of the four foot pieces of conduit that we just cut. So use a screwdriver to tighten them down and be sure that they are squared up and facing the same way. Now you can check this out by laying it flat on the ground or on your workbench. Then, so we can set this up and break it down easier, we want to replace the other screws with thumb screws. Remove the ones in the elbows and put the thumb screws on. You should have two pieces of pipe still and since we cut them, we'll want to just file the ends that we cut so there aren't any sharp edges. After that, Take the two pieces with the elbows attached and measuring halfway down the pipe, make a mark. Now this is where we're gonna attach that 5 8 inch stud so it's easier to clamp onto a grip head. I drilled a small pilot hole and then a quarter inch hole and then I attached the studs by using those quarter by 20 inch screws that we had. Now let's go work on that diffusion panel. Lay your fabric out on a big flat surface to give our diffusion panels a little extra durability, we'll fold over the edges before we sew the nylon strips on. So measure out roughly a 52 inch by 52 inch square shape. Now if you go a little over, that's totally fine. We can just trim it after we're done. Cut your fabric and then fold the edges over a couple inches on each side. You should be measuring this regularly to make sure that you're not going over 48 inches. We want it just at 48 inches or slightly less even so that it stretches tight within our frame. Then cut some strips of this nylon webbing and lay them out on each side. Now you need to sew. Let me preface this section by saying that sewing is a huge pain in the ass. So if you know anyone that sews, just go ahead and ask them to do it. It's probably going to be easier that way. If you want to take the challenge on yourself, let's jump right in. So bust out your mom's sewing machine like I did. And then I've used needles to keep the nylon and the folded over edges in place. And so it's extra durable. What we want to do is sew a seam along the outside edge and the inside edge of our yellow nylon webbing. And I can be pretty tough on my DIY gear, so I went ahead and sewed an extra seam straight down the middle. Once you're done sewing, go ahead and trim off any excess fabric and then grab your grommets. We don't just want some loose open fabric holes unraveling while we're on set, which is why we want to install grommets to wind our ties through when we're setting this up. 
I like these 3 8 inch ones, but 1 half inch works well too, and they're just as easy to find. Just follow the instructions on the package when you're installing your grommets. These are really simple to do, but if you've never installed one before, just test it out on a spare piece of fabric so you're not ruining all the hard work we just put into this diffusion panel. So you definitely want to grommet on each corner, and then I like having three more on each side. Instead of measuring constantly, an easy way to find the middle is to just fold the fabric in half and make a mark there. Repeat that for each side. And then to find the middle of each of these halves, do the exact same thing again. Just fold it in half and make a mark. Go ahead and install grommets everywhere you made a mark, and you should have 16 holes in your fabric when you're done. Now if your nylon is fraying, just singe it with a lighter to seal those cuts up. Then grab your elastic cable ties. If you want to know how to make some DIY versions of these, there's a link in the description below. And then simply thread them through each of your grommets. At this point, we're pretty much done, so let's go ahead and set this thing up. Setting this thing up is super easy. Just go ahead and connect all of your corners to the pipes and tighten those down with the thumb screws that we installed, and you should have a big four foot by four foot frame. Then grab your fabric and lay it in, and use your cable ties to fasten it to the frame. And now you should have your very own DIY 4x4 scrim gym. Now a couple of last things now that we've got this set up. Connecting to your grip heads should be super easy now that we've got those 5 8 inch spigots attached. Just slide one into your grip head, make sure your grip head's attached to a light stand or a C-stand obviously, tighten it down, and then just blast some light through it. Like I said earlier, these things are great at turning almost any single light into a big soft source of light. Now as an example, I have got a Came TV Boltzen 55 watt uh, LED focusable Fresnel-ish kind of light behind the diffusion panel. And here I am without the panel. And you can see the massive difference that this makes. Now, if you've got any comments or questions, leave those in the description below. If you like this video, please click like. If you wanna stay up to date on videos just like this, click subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you next time.